Well, let's. This is an easy dish to make. The only item, the only thing that takes time in this is cutting all the vegetables. What we have here are fresh mushrooms. And we have sun-dried tomatoes, which have been pre-soaked, not pre-soaked, steamed, and not soaked. So the steaming allows you to keep all the flavor, yet softens the tomato. And we have in there julienne of carrots, tomato, mushrooms, garlic, basil, salt, and pepper, and olive oil. And we will start cooking this, and then you will cook your pasta separate. And we have heavy cream and white wine, and this will be a delicious topping for, uh, any, for any type of pasta that you want to eat. We'll set the flame on high. You can get a good look at the the vegetables the way they're cut. There you have the onions, julienne, those little fancy tomatoes. Take each one, slice it lengthwise, about five or six slices out of each, cooks faster. Slice the mushroom and wash them, place them in the pan. Julienne carrots, nice and thin, and all of these items will cook at about the same amount of time. The garlic is in there, all the seasonings, the olive oil. The only thing that's not in there currently is the heavy cream and the white wine. And the sun-dried tomatoes, since they are very soft now because they were steamed already, nice cut julienne, they will be added at the very end. And I will be stirring this, and once all the vegetables are tender, at that point I will be adding the white wine, wait a minute, and then I'll add the heavy cream. And then just keep it off to the side, you cook your, vet, your favorite pasta, you strain your pasta, don't ever wash your pasta after you cook it, strain it, put it into your platter, put the sauce on top, toss it a little. Serve your cheese over it later. Oh, you got a delicious dinner. The flame is high. I'm going to keep on turning this. I'm just guessing this might take about 10 12 minutes. Keeping the flame at its highest point. You don't have to worry too much about anything burning in here because we have two items which give off a lot of moisture. One of them is the mushroom and the other is the tomato. So it would take a long time before you really get any color on anything. And we're not looking for color. We're looking just to cook this and that's it. Now if I had some green peppers I would put that in there also for color but it just so happens they are not in my refrigerator at this time. Now this dish I'm um, putting together because I found a few ingredients in the refrigerator and I wanted to use them before they spoil and that was the uh, mushroom, the heavy cream and the tomatoes and I would use fresh basil but I didn't have any today so we are using the dry basil but I much prefer the fresh. And if I were using the fresh, I would put at least a third of a cup of nice, fine julienne of fresh basil in there at the very end. At this point, the vegetables are coming along very nicely. They're getting tender. And as you see, there's not much moisture left in the pan. So at this point, let's add the white wine. And let that reduce. And let the flavors get in there nicely. <laughs> we are just about done. <coughs> this 
This is plenty of topping for one pound of pasta. I don't like to be cheap when it comes to whatever we're mixing with the pasta. Now we'll add the heavy cream. I used olive oil in this, but if you wanted to, you could use butter. I just try to stay away from that type of fat, if you know what I mean. But there are times when I do use it. Mm, mm, mm. That looks good. Okay, just a little more heavy cream. All the ingredients will be either at the beginning or the end of the video printed out on the video so you have no questions about how much of anything to use. <clears throat> okay, that's cooking about another minute. We'll shut it off, leave it right in here, and then later on, if you Cook the pasta, drain it, and then don't wash it off. Put it into your uh, pasta bowl. Put this on top and then toss it and serve it with your favorite cheese. I like that. Now we're cooking up the pasta. That's about a drop over a pound. See how easy it is when you use a, a skillet like this? Instead of a tall pot, a little salt in the water, taste the water, it should be slightly salty, you'll have delicious pasta. And there's the finished platter. Now I'm sorry I have to go now, sit down, have my dinner, hope you enjoy this if you make it. Thank you. And I'm going to put some hot sauce on my portion. <laughs>